All right, YouTube, uh, Conspiracy Boy here with uh, another car boot haul video. A uh, little bit late, Monday. Uh, just got too busy on a Sunday. Nothing too exciting. Going to try and keep it short and sweet this week because they've been dragging on. So um, this was from the second car boot sale. This big pile here all came from one seller. Um, first thing that attracted me to the table was this Pokemon gift box for the Tempest. I'm not sure I really remembered that deck all that well. But uh, opened it up. Looked like it had some nice unused bits in here. I started getting excited, thinking there might be three unopened boosters in the box. Needless to say, there isn't. Uh, someone had the boosters. They've even taken all the Pokemon out of the theme deck. Uh, everything is in immaculate condition, so it looks like they just ripped the Pokemon out of it, ticked a few of the boxes on the Pokemon um, checklist sheet, and uh, yeah, just took all the Pokemon out, probably stuck them in a folder a bit. Uh, so yeah, coin still there, never been taken out of the, the little box. So that was cool, so I asked her how much that was, and she said £2, because they didn't have the hollow or any of the cards in, I said, look, you know, it's, it's just the box now, you taken all the goodies out of it, I'll give you a quid, and she's like, oh yeah, quid's fine. So I was like, yeah, nice, we'll have that for a pound, I've definitely gotten like doubles of the Pokemon listed in there, so I'll just pop them in, make it like a complete one. Obviously I'm not going to buy the booster packs and put back in, but, so I bought that, and as I was paying for it and like haggling with her, someone else said, oh, how much your teddies? And she went, oh, the, all the teddy bears are like 20p each. So I was like, oh, we'll see if there's a Care Bear or two in there. And uh, then someone said, how much are your books? And she went, oh, the books are, are 20 each as well. I just want rid of everything. So I was like, oh, well, let's have a look. And uh, in amongst the teddy bears, there was a few sort of DVDs and CD things. So I pulled out uh, Smackdown 1 uh, on the pl PlayStation. It is missing its manual, so it's literally just the disc in the case. Um, whereas Smackdown 2 is in a lot nicer condition, probably because it was not as popular maybe and uh, still got the instruction manual on the disc in really good shape there too so I might bundle those up and um, stick them on eBay as a pair maybe they'll go for something and there was also Sonic and Knuckles um, so in that one you've got Sonic and Knuckles 3 Sonic and Knuckles and Sonic and Knuckles 3 again oh god knows um, and this M&M all, all Access Europe tour thing. I don't know. Again, that was 20p. But I said to her, oh, look, I'll try and make it up a pound. I'm thinking, it's, I've probably got a pound's worth of gear there already, but we'll route around. And I ended up finding this brand new Coca Cola t shirt. Um, it's still sealed in the bag, but the bag's pretty dirty. Um, but yeah, enjoy Coca Cola. So I got that chucked in there as well. And um, then someone else picked up the books and said how much and she said oh they'll be really cheap I just want rid of them we've just got so many so I just thought oh well we might as well have a look and sitting right at the top was uh, this Red Dwarf book and it's the hardcover version uh, I, I really like Red Dwarf so I was like oh for 20p I'll have that and they had Donny Brasco as well another one of my favourite films uh, then I came across this Metallica hardcover book, so what? Illustrated Guides to Metallica I just thought well for 20p that's got to be worth picking up as well and then I came across a Simpsons Parade graphic novel the Flintstones annual of the film a Super Ted annual from 1989 which has been badly badly treated, it's all drawn on the inside uh, Turtle Splinter No More Turtles Return of the Technodrome, Transformers Autobot Lightning Strike, and Transformers Autobots Fight Back. So the whole time I've been like flicking through these books, um, the lady had moved aside and this other bloke had come along and um, was telling her the stuff he'd like found at the car boot sale. And then he saw me and he was like, oh mate, the books are going really cheap. And I was like, yeah, yeah, the lady said. And... Um, then he said again, like, oh, yeah, they're really, really cheap. And I was like, yeah, yeah, great. I like cheap, man. And uh, he said, you know what? You can have all of them. You have all of them if you want. Yeah, just give me a price. Take all of them. 
And I went, no, I, did, I don't have the room for that. I'm just going to, like, cherry-pick the ones I want, thanks. And he was like, oh, that's a shame. You should you should really take all of them. I was like, no, no, I, I can't. I can't, dude. So then I stood up. I was like, right, I've got these. I've got 20 books there. Some of them are tiny little books. Some of them are bigger books. And uh, the guy went, oh, go on, go on, two quid, as they're going so cheap. And I went, oh, I thought they would... They were going cheap, like they they started off at twenty p. Oh, I thought they were going to get cheaper. How about I give you a pound for them? And he was like, "Oh, I don't know, mate. That's that's a lot of books for a pound." And I went, "Well, I, you just want a shot of them, or?" And then the lady like chirped up and was like, "Oh, he has bought loads of other stuff from us as well, like all that for a quid and the Pokemon thing for a quid." So he's like, "Oh, go on then." And then some other bloke had obviously just walked in at the end and was like, what, ten books for a pound? What? And I just gave him the quid and was like, oh, yeah, thanks, mate, cheers. And off I went. So it was quite a lot of stuff there for three quid, I suppose. Um, by the way, some other stuff I might have paid up on. So this was, uh, again, the second car boot. Um, the lady in my life saw this nice little purse thing that she liked, so we were looking at that. And they also had these sort of, like, shampoo and shower gel little kits with a little bath fizzer in um, I thought they might be good for festivals and stuff she also had this I was like oh what's in here it's like a nice really nice spoon and fork stainless steel sort of like travel thing and it's all stamped saying Boy Scouts of America National Council National Council oh I might have to look into that I didn't see it said National Council before that might make it more collectory there was also some sort of like, I don't know, like an old school camera thing in a packet. And I looked at it and it had like reverse written on it. I couldn't figure out what it was, but I tried to chuck it in the bundle. When she saw it, she went, oh, no, no, you can't have that. No, no, that's that's like my husband's. He uses that for like rewinding the camera film or something. No, that's worth some money. That's not in the like 50p a pound box. Um, but what was in a carrier bag, she, there was a load of old tanks. But I looked at the money of them. I mean, there was a few corgi and some dinkies, but they didn't look very good. But then they had this little one, which is very small. It has rubber wheels, and on the bottom there, I think it says. Uh... Oh, God, I can't even make it out, you know. A uh, Sarsen personnel carrier made in England by Lensley Lesney, number fifty-four, I think. And it's in pretty good shape. I believe these uh, the the Lesney ones are like the original Matchbox cars, like real small. This one looked in pretty good condition, so I picked that up. Um, there seemed to be someone looking over my shoulder who saw me like picking this up and looked very sort of intrigued. So he went rummaging in the bag afterwards, but couldn't find anything that took his fancy. And she also had these Mickey Mouse tea towels. There was two of them. There was this one, and there was another one. Uh, I thought I. Well, I picked one up that had 65 pence written on the back there. Uh, you can't see the whole print, but that gives you an idea of how the whole tea towel will look. It's probably what, like 90s or something. Anyway, I, I had this little bundle, and she wanted 50p or a pound for everything. So she wanted a pound for this little kit thing here. And then, I mean, even if she wanted 50p for the other stuff, that was still three quid. And... Uh, I said, well, look, you know, I think she said, oh, just call it two quid. And I was like, oh, are you sure you won't take a pound? And she was like, no, no, it's just too much stuff for, ju for just two pounds, two pounds. And she'd already taken off the camera rewinder thing from me. So we settled on two pound for that little lot. Um, you never know, I might do quite well out of those two things. The Boy Scouts National Council, maybe that makes it a bit rarer. Maybe that's not just a standard Boy Scouts thing. And then the little tank... Who knows? But that was two pound that little lot. Uh, someone had like a big box of cars, and in the bottom were these two micro machines with really quite big wheels. Uh, I'm not really used to seeing micro machines with wheels that size. Uh, so I asked her how much. She said twenty p for the pair, so ten p each. And I also said how much do you do? She said a pound. Uh, I'm sure she was saying box sets were more, but I just said, oh look, there's pound, and I just picked this up and sort of. I didn't run, but I left. Uh, some guy had just arrived, um, just had a really random mix of games, uh, he said they were all 50p, so we've got Crazy Taxi on the PS2, Star Trek Voyager Elite Force, SimCity Societies on the PC, 
Call of Duty World of War, games for Windows, Media, and Lord of the Rings Conquest on PlayStation 3. Doubt they're very like sought after titles, but I think if I took them down CEX, they'd probably give me more than £2.50 trade in on the 3. Um, there's also this cable that looks like it would charge any type of Apple product imaginable, but doesn't seem to want to charge any of mine, so maybe it's faulty or maybe it's knockoff, I, I don't know, but yeah, that's not working very well. That was three quid for that little bundle there. I uh, also saw someone who had this Pokemon Battle Revolutions game. Uh, I said, how much are the Wii games? And he was just like, oh, I, I don't know. So, well, could I purchase one? Oh, I, I, I don't know. It's not really... Yeah. So I don't know what was going on. In the end, he was like, th three? Three quid? I was like, yeah, all right. So I gave him a fiver, but he was like, oh, I've just got no change at all. Why don't you take this other game and we'll call it fiver? So I end up getting Raymond Raving Rabbids as well as Pokemon Battle Revolutions for a fiver. Again, it's probably not a good deal, but I don't really know much from games. And as long as I play them and then trade them in, I've had some fun out of it. Uh, I also bought Skylanders Giants and a Portal because I've been collecting so many of these for my friends' kids that I've got like a backlog of doubles and sh stuff now. So, um, yeah, we can play them in the game, but like half of them I can't use in the game because they're either too modern or whatever. But anyway, got that. Um, I think we paid eight quid for the game and the Portal and some Skylanders to go with it. It's more than I'd like to pay, but it didn't really matter. I just wanted the put these new ones to use and see see what the game was like. Uh, oh, and the last couple of things from that car boot sale, and then we'll move on to the first one. This lady had this firefighter Playmobil exclusive thing, so I thought, oh, we'll see how much she wants for this. She also had some c carpet to floor tape, um, which might come in handy. So I asked her how much, she said 50p for the pair, so I thought, oh, well, you can't really go wrong at 50p for the pair, can you? So we had those, and last thing from that car boot sale, just before we left, I saw this um, lady with lots of hair, and obviously thought, well that must be Princess Elsa, or whatever it is from that Disney film thing, but apparently it's someone tangled, and um, she, she had a horse and whatnot, I said, oh, how much are these, and he said, oh, just, you know, 20p each if you want them, so I ended up getting her and her horse, and this woman, who I don't even know is from that film, or maybe another film, and this dude, who might be a hero of some kind, and and then a frog and a paintbrush, and then, so that was my five for a pound, and all that was left was this little girl with long hair as well, so he was like, well, just take her as well. So, we got that little bundle for a pound, they need a little bit of a clean, but then I'll probably stick it on eBay as a tangled PVC bundle set, starting at 99p, and see where it goes. Right, so that was everything at the second car boot sale. Um, the first car boot sale, it's the first time they've been open this year. There was a few sellers out, but oh my god, the buyers. Uh, there were so many traders running around. Um, I bumped into a really nice guy called Stu, who I see there from time to time. He's a really cool guy, and he's a collector. Um, I really like it when there's other collectors. It's just when there's just all eBay resellers. Admittedly, I am saying, oh, I'll stick this on eBay, I'll stick that on eBay. But at the same time, I'm going out there to look for things for my own collection first and um, to stick on eBay second to feed my collection rather than just going all out for money. But anyway, so yeah, big shout out to him. Anyway, so I got this little dude for 50p. He looked really cool. He looked like some little zombie blue monkey. So I asked how much and she said, oh, a pound. And I was like, oh, I don't know, 50p. And she was like, okay, 50p. So uh, it's a zombie creepy cuddlers too, and this guy's called Jangles. Looks like there's only another two in the set, but I, I actually quite like this. This is a pretty cool plushy, like little zombie things like that. Um, what else do we get? Oh, this was 50p as well. It's um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Freezy. Somehow you put like cream and sugar in with ice and then shake it and then put it in the freezer and then it makes a turtle's ice cream. I don't know, but it's 50p, and when they're new in the box like that, and they make good presents for friends, kids at birthdays, you just go, oh yeah, there you go, sorry, happy happy belated birthday. So that, that all works out. 
And then this last, oh, and that was actually the second car boot. That was on a table of just odd little ends. And they just wanted 20p an item. It's actually in really good condition. It's about the only, one of the only vintage things we found today. That was 20p. And the rest, this little bundle, all came from the same seller. Um, so the first time I went over to their stall, um, they were still setting up and there was just a few random toys on the table and they had this Halo figurine there. Um, he did have his hand attached at this point, got broken in transport, but yeah, they had this little Halo figure. So I asked them how much they wanted and they said a pound fifty and I just thought, ah, it's too much, it's already missing like a shoulder pad here. But he looked pretty cool, but a pound fifty was just too much, so I said, no, no, don't worry. So I asked her, you know, do you have any more of these things? Oh, I don't know. I don't really know what we've got in the car, actually. And I just said, oh, okay, then, never mind. And um, then they put another box down, and there was, like, a few weird toys sticking out the top, like modern things that just looked trashy. But then there was, like, a shaving bag, and you could just see the, the retro colours of those G1 Transformers shining through. And this is the only one that was in there, and it's definitely seen better days. It's missing a good portion of its arm there. It's all a bit dented and scuffed up, but until you pick one up in the wild and hold it in your hand, most of the time you forget the sort of weight that these things have, which I really like. So much nicer than the sort of cheap plastic toys. And there's some big chunk of metal on the front of it there. Anyway, so this was sticking out the top somehow. I can't seem to get it to go back where it should. But yeah, something like that. It was in its little car form. So I picked up the car, and underneath the car hiding, you had um, a couple of little Care Bears. And they were both in these little bags, which is really strange. If anyone knows that whether they should come in a bag or not, please please let me know. So there's um, Love A Lot, Loves A Lot. And then there's Swifty Heart Rabbit there. So yeah, there's Swifty Heart. And... Um, so I picked those three up and said, you know, how much do you want for that little bundle, expecting it to be extortionate. And she said, oh, uh, a pound. So she went for a pound fifty to one halo figure to a pound for three. And then she turned to her husband and was like, oh, they're Tracy's, I don't really know what they are. So I was just like, yes. But uh, shame that was all she had. Then he pulled out, um, he said, oh, there's some more DVDs, I think, love. And so I went and looked at their DVDs, but it was mainly rubbish. And then the other box he pulled out first one that was on the top was like a Wii game so I just picked up like a big stack of them and was like oh how much are your DVDs mate how much are your DVDs and he was like oh they're all 50p so I was just like oh there's a pound even though I had six man I was like I'll put those four back and I just kept the Wii ones and was like yeah cheers so I got these two games for a pound from the same dude and then later on I, I was walking past and he pulled another box out and it had this Barbie in there new in the box it looks like she has this little polka dot pattern that you can stick onto the dog here which seems really bizarre but yeah there's spot scene barbie again that'll probably go to a friend's kid on their birthday more than likely it's a bit battered but kids don't really look at stuff like that do they and then as i was waiting uh to pay i spotted someone else buying some red vans uh vans oh yeah they were vans yeah and then i spotted these converses and I looked and was like, that's quite a cool little pattern. And I saw the designs on the inside there too. I thought, that looks very unique. And when I picked them up, I saw the little tag on the side saying Gorillas. And Gorillas artwork's all drawn by Jamie Hewlett. So I sort of had a look at the bottom of the sole. That looked in beautiful condition. The tiniest little bit of wear there. So they might have been worn out perhaps once. Uh, they're size 9.5, which I think is probably a fairly good size. Yeah, so I asked her how much, and she said, oh, I think they were about 50 quid new, so can we say £4 and £3 for the Barbie? Oh, and then I asked her to chuck this Halo figure in as well, and uh, she said, oh, we'll call it £8 then, and she wouldn't budge on 8 but seeing as I got all that for 2 before, I thought it was probably a good price, 10 of the lot. So I've already got these listed on eBay, starting at £10. They are really nice. I just don't like Converse. They just feel too too weak but I do love the artwork of Jamie Hewlett don't know if we'll be able to make out the monkey on the inside there that little purple monkey oh, I don't think it will let us there he is how cool is he 
But yeah, so um, yeah, I really like Jamie Hewlett's artwork, but it's just not the right size or style for me. If they were high tops made by Nike or Adidas, for sure, but oh well. So yeah, that was my car boot haul video. Um, as much as I tried to keep it short, I did waffle on for another 20 minutes. Uh, I was looking at doing a trade with someone um, earlier in the week and they wanted some monsters in my pocket so I was rummaging through my monsters in my pocket box where I came across something made of a very hard plastic and realised this wasn't monsters in my pocket but bad egg bunch that had been hiding in there. God knows when I picked it up or how much I paid for it or how long it's been sat in that toy room while I've been wishing that I could find some bloody bad egg bunch. Um, who knew that I had one called the egg crusher next door the whole time. So yeah, that was really cool and I've worked out a trade um, so there's a few turtles coming my way as well uh, along with um, a package that I'll probably be doing a video on tomorrow or Wednesday which is um, an eBay little find and hopefully there'll be a few more eBay little finds to show uh, next week as well uh, along with my stuff from America but there won't be a whole lot of it, it's just a few figures but even still uh, more videos to come guys obviously car boot hauls every Sunday and eBay's whenever and if ever they show up so yeah that was this week sorry about it being late guys um, but yeah enjoy and hopefully see you all soon peace